everyone, as you saw in the first part of this video, I just did an unboxing of two products which I received from Fashionary as well as from Vicky, who reached out to me, so kind to make me an affiliate of Fashionary. So I've got a code and everything, which is Zyra10, which you can use. Um, it'll be in the description box and in this video as well, if you want to get 10% off your entire purchase at Fashionary. And also if you want to get your hands on one of the latest releases that Fashionary has, which is the poses for fashion illustration. Now the second part of this video, I will be talking about this product right here, what it is, how it's meant to be used, and how I've used it as well um, for my own demonstration, which is creating a full watercolor and gouache illustration. I'll also be kind of sharing my thoughts about this product as well. It'll definitely be a review. So let's get into what this product is all about. So what it says on the packaging is that poses for fashion illustration is 100 essential figure template cards for designers. And this is the women's edition. At the back, it says an essential tool for every professional designer. Poses for fashion illustration is a set of ready to use template cards tailor made for sketching clothing. Templates include casual wear, couture, plus size, and more. All templates are identical in proportion and developed to ensure an easy and efficient tracing experience. So there's 100 poses um, featuring every occasion, a dimension, and body shape is covered in this deck. All the cards are also double-sided, so on one side you get the pose, and then on the back side you get the same pose, but it's mirrored. And then you also got an illustration and guide included featuring drawing techniques with colored illustration demonstrations as well as a table of contents, which is really cool. Um, I also found out that they collaborated with um, Connie Lim which is one of my favorite fashion illustrators. I followed her on Instagram and I was really excited when I found out that they collaborated for this product. So that's quite cool. The table of contents is definitely also really useful so that anytime you wanna use one of the template cards, all you have to do is just go through the book or the booklet and then choose whichever one you want and it's got the numbers there as well as what category it falls under so that you don't actually have to sift through every single card in this um, box. What I also really like is the filing system that they have. I definitely love to be organized so this to me looks really neat and I think it also looks really nice and presentable. The packaging is also really well made. Um, the box is quite sturdy and it's also designed quite nicely and it's minimal as well. I reckon it looks nice on your desk like or on your workspace, like it's Instagram worthy almost. So I reckon that's really cool, like that's a plus. I think that that's still something that um, needs to be taken into consideration and also kind of says something about the quality and the thought that was put into products. So I'm quite happy with how this one looked so far, especially when I was just unboxing it. But yeah, so it's a deck of template cards, which is pretty much designed for fashion designers, fashion design students, and pretty much anyone who takes an interest in fashion design and fashion illustration, such as myself, because I mean, let's face it, I'm not really a fashion designer, not a professional one. I would love to be. Um, I'm not even a fashion design student, but I do take a lot of interest in fashion design and fashion illustration. And I also like to incorporate a little bit of that into illustrations that I create with watercolors and wash like portrait illustrations a lot of them are heavily heavily influenced by fashion and fashion trends so i was really interested in this one especially when vicky contacted me i was like that looks so cool please send it to me <laughs> but yeah so 
this product is designed to make the designing process much faster and I guess it's used to eliminate the worry or the stress that we can have when drawing the fashion figure and having to get the proportions right every single time we want to design clothing because I know that that's something that a lot of people struggle with. Fashionary, I guess also what they've been trying to do even with their previous products, especially one of their sketchbooks, is they really want to eliminate that part of the process so that all the time and all your focus gets dedicated onto designing the clothing because you've got a template to work with. And I know that a lot of people actually use templates when it comes to designing clothing because like I said, no one really wants to be bothered with having to draw the fashion figure every single time you just want to design clothing. Especially when you've got like an idea in your head, you don't really want to have to think about, oh my gosh, this figure looks out of proportion and then that kind of messes up the design that you're creating. So with, um, for example, the fashionary sketchbooks, what they have is that instead of um, having just a blank sketchbook with, you know, your regular sketchbook paper, um, what they have is they have a template of a fashion figure lightly dotted on every single page so that you can trace that, create your own outline of the figure, and then draw the clothing on top of it, which, like I said, it eliminates the process of having to draw the fashion figure again and again and again. So that's something that they've already done in the past, and I actually have a video reviewing the A4 fashionary sketchbook, and I also got sent the A5 fashionary sketchbook in the men's version, but I won't be um, talking about that in this video too much because it's very similar to the A4 sketchbook, which I will link in the cards section of this video. So if you're interested, you can watch that one. But yeah, so they've already um, established their brand to have that function, to make your designing process much quicker. And so this obviously is kind of like a variation of that or expanding into that concept because with the fashionary sketchbooks, you do get your own um, figure template on every single page, but it's just one standard pose on every single page. Whereas with this one, with the poses for fashion illustration, you get to pick and choose which ones will fit the mood or the energy of your own clothing design. So there's definitely a lot more variety and a lot more options and you can use the templates again and again and again as many times as you want. So I think that that's really good value for money, especially if, like I said, you're a fashion designer aspiring to be one or a student or if you're just really interested in fashion illustration. And the cards as well, they're nice and thick. I believe they are 300 GSM, so that's a pretty decent um, thickness for cards. And they also are designed to fit an A5 sheet of paper or A4 in landscape. So you can fit about four um, templates or figures in an A4 sheet, which is really good if you want to do like a presentation or something like that. Um, the poses as well, like it's quite diverse. It was really nice to see some plus size um, models on there as well as maternity because those are definitely body types that you want to be designing for as well, especially in this day and age. And yeah, so that was quite nice. Um, and I can also definitely see this product expanding in the future, um, becoming like a product line of sorts. It could be like a men's version, for example, or like a children's version for children wear, or just a fresh new batch of poses. Like I think there's definitely still lots and lots of poses out there that they could do something that's more like fashion editorial. How cool would that be? So yeah, I'm quite excited to see where they take this product um, in the future. Okay, so how do you use this product? It's very simple. Basically, 
you get a card, you choose which one you want. You can choose it from the table of contents or you can sift through every single card in this deck and choose which pose you want. And all you have to do is place it underneath a sheet of paper, which you would have already seen me do at the very beginning of this demonstration. Um, yeah, and then you start tracing, you start sketching. That's how easy it is to use. So the templates are actually outlined with heavy black lines. So that's quite nicely thought out so that it's easy for you to see through underneath the um, regular sketchbook paper, for example. For the demonstration, I did use um, regular printer paper. So you can see um, through the paper um, and onto the template so that you don't have to use like a light box or anything like that. So I've tested it with uh, the Fashionary sketchbook paper, which is quite, um, I wouldn't say it's thin, but it's around the same thickness as regular printer paper. I've tested it on printer paper as you see, or as you have seen in the video. I've tested it with marker paper. Some marker papers are quite thin, so they're also pretty see-through and I've tested it with cartridge paper. Now, some cartridge papers vary in thickness. I did test it with regular cartridge paper that is on my A5 sketchbooks. I believe those range from around 100 to 110 GSM. I'm not entirely sure, but it is thicker than the sketchbook or the fashionary sketchbook paper, but it's still quite see-through, like the black outlines of the template still um, visible underneath that cartridge paper. So that one's quite nice. Um, the thing, however, is that with watercolor paper or pretty much thick paper, and in this case, I am using watercolor paper for this demonstration, I did have to use a light box. I decided to trace the template, the figure, and then I drew on top of it. Now, as I was obviously drawing on top of the traced figure, on the watercolor paper, I already have the design that I had in mind. So that process, I would say it wasn't as fast as what the product is actually intended for, but that's how I used it. You can use it how it's intended to be used, or you can take some creative liberties with it, which is what I'm pretty much doing. Because after I traced the figure, I did make some alterations, for example, on her face as well as a little bit on the hands but that's something that you know it's optional I decided to do that because I wanted to kind of be a little bit more creative with it so I used the template pretty much as a base and then I just went overboard with everything else because I drew backgrounds on this one as well in terms of the product um, I really like it and I would definitely recommend it and if you want to know more about it you can actually go and visit their website which is fashionary org so you can check out this product they've also got um, other products in there so just feel free to browse and see which ones might spark an interest and of course if you decide to buy something then feel free to use my code which is once again Zyra 10 for 10% off your entire purchase at fashionary.org so yeah so I will be ending this video. I hope that you guys liked what I had to say or the review part as well as um, the illustration itself. I'm really happy with how it turned out. So I hope that you like it as well. And as always, if you wanna see more content from me, video content, then feel free to subscribe um, or follow me on Instagram as well if you wanna see more regular content when it comes to illustrations because I definitely find it hard to film um, nowadays but I can definitely post photos on Instagram so if you want to see more of my work then feel free to um, check out my Instagram as well as my social media um, channels which are all in the description box so that is it for this video once again I just want to thank Fashionary and Vicky for reaching out to me and I really hope that you guys like this video and also share it if you want to and yeah so I will see you guys in my next one Bye.